Hello there, all you art addicts. Thank you for tuning in to Angie's Art Addicts YouTube channel. And I'm going to be doing a review for this set of books by Alan Roberts. It's called The Beauty of Horror. I have volume one, two, and three. And as you can see, there's a couple here that I had had spiraled. I've said this before, but if this is the first time ever watching my videos, um, you can take them apart at the binding and take them each page out and stack them up obviously and take them into staples and pay three dollars and they will spiral them beautifully for you and you're able to have less space taken up at your desk get in the creases to color and be able to take it and set it in your lap or whatever you might want to do i find it very handy i do plan on doing all of my coloring books that way at some point <laughs> so i'm going to take away volume two and three set them to the side and begin with one obviously so um alan roberts is the artist illustrator and like I said, The Beauty of Horror is the name of the book. All of them have the dust jacket on them. And oh, I believe all the covers are black like that. And so, uh, let's get started. kind of has a story that goes along with it. And it also has the um, kind of lost items thing like Kirby Rosane's books often do. And the answers are obviously in the back. The first part is explaining to you that these books are all about a little girl named Guliana Belly, I believe, <laughs> um, and it has a little poem there telling you the story of this little girl who's dead. Um, and I'm going to go through and show you some of the pages and talk about them. So, obviously, I'm sure you know about Instagram and Pinterest and different things like that. A lot of people love it and a lot of people hate it. I personally think it's awesome to be able to see what other people are doing, so I enjoy it. Um, and you can see so many amazing things that people have colored. So. This is like a trick-or-treating and you see the guys hanging in the tree. <laughs> um, this is definitely some mild gore and horror type stuff. We have some chainsaws and some bloody faces. Um, I think volume one's kind of like uh, couples or Valentine's Day type thing because a lot of them have to do with couples. Like one side will be a man and one side will be a woman or you know something like that. Quite a few of them at least. Some bats, a woman dead underwater. <laughs> seen that one done really awesome. And some guys there with some bloody saws, or no, some bloody axes and knives, chopped off hands and eyeballs. We have some baby dolls beaten up and dead, I guess. A big werewolf. Some dead animals. And we have a raven or a crow um, plucking out the eyeball of that dead guy there. <laughs> um, and these really, they look can look so awesome when you color them and, you know, they look really 3D. Or at least if you know how to do that type of thing. I had played around with, um, I don't even know what I played around with that with. I think it was maybe an intense, I'm not sure. I don't usually do much more than that on any page. So here's another woman of mankind thing. She's laying in the thing and he's coming home or going towards her. This one is one I've seen done like an Egyptian style thing. And the little girl with all her demons. This one is really awesome. I've seen done the clown faces. A lot of people are scared of clowns. You got like a Medusa with snakes there. Let me zoom up just a little bit. Let's see here. Oh, I'm so sorry. A little bit slower. Okay, that might be a little bit better. Okay, so once again, a man and a woman. I've seen that one done really good. And the pages are really thick. It's just like the other books that I, I've shown on here um, so far. The quality is very high. I would definitely say you could use anything in there except for alcohol markers. And if you did, you're risking, you know, messing up the back. Unless you wanted to use gesso. So, here is a delicious looking soup. <laughs> and some bats hanging out there. And some crazy mouths. Oh, I'm trying to keep you in here. Oh, wow, it's raining pretty hard outside. There's a mill that I probably wouldn't want to attend. Looks like a voodoo session, actually. You got some little voodoo dolls. And the clown standing outside looking very excited to see all the uh, little girls and boys. <laughs> and carousel. Love this. Totally a serial killer fanatic. I know that sounds probably crazy, but I can name like all the serial killers and I watch all the shows and listen to the podcast. I've been that way since I was a little girl. So, I think that's really cool. <laughs> uh, let's see here. Got some people breaking into a zombies or something. Breaking into some wood in a window. And we have a uh, Venus flytrap. 
my son loved this because he loves Little Shop of Horrors. And some crazy faces. I've seen those done like neon, really neat. Spider and the guys in his web. A crazy, horrible, rabies ridden rat. <laughs> um, a jar with a set of Siamese twins connected at the head and another head there in a jar. Seen that one done really cool. Um, it looks like these birds are sitting on the hatchet that apparently killed this young lady here. <laughs> and there she is screaming in a mirror. And another scream. And this is little Guliana Belli and her pets it looks like. She's having a good old time. Um, Color with Claire. I did a beautiful brick tutorial on her channel if you want to check that out. I definitely recommend it as I do all, all the things that she does because she's amazing. Uh, really kind of cool and pretty flowers around a school. Got a Halloween kind of thing there. There is little Guliana holding her head so it don't roll off while she's swinging apparently. And maybe a family album of her and her dead relatives. <laughs> Skeleton in a casket maybe. Oh, there's another one I flubbed up, or at least I feel like I did. Trying to do some, like, um, shading, I guess. And this is kind of like a priest or a pope, maybe, holding a little devil baby. It's really kind of satanic and crazy, but I think it's cool, <laughs> personally. Uh, these are some mermaids that actually have been done really beautifully with the octopus at the bottom. And here we have some zombies breaking into the church where they might be doing the, uh, maybe sacrifice or blessing. I don't know. This little devil baby here. <laughs> and we have a seance or, uh, what is that called when they're sitting around the table? I can't think of the word right now, but we have these people doing that. And a chair flying across the room, apparently, and the paper's moving from the spirit world. Cat at the grave and little Guviana watching the house. And here's a chance for you to put your own heads or whatever you would like in jars. Uh, let's see here. And I think that would be the end of it. Yep. And so it shows you the different items and where they went. And look what you've done. Look what you did. You found 48 items that were secretly hid. But you've, but there's been a mistake. You've been terribly deceived. Finding Guliana's treasures has set her soul free. Now she's out of the forest and inside the house. Her ghostly friends are creeping about. There's only one way in and sadly no way out. The beauty of horror shall return without a doubt. And that would be the end. And the dust cover. And I love them. <laughs> I have had people tell me that they don't. And I could understand why. Absolutely. Wouldn't recommend it for children. But we are not children. Or at least I'm not. <laughs> Here's number two. Same thing with the desk cover, different thing in black inside. Pages, same way. Um, very thick, no difference at all. Handle any medium except for alcohol markers. And a little starting. And this one here starts out. Oh, let me, I'm so sorry. Let me zoom up here and maybe zoom. Ah, I'm so sorry. Let's just try that. Okay. I apologize so much. I hope I haven't given anybody a headache. So we have a Crypt Keeper at the gate, and we have some, oh, I had this page tagged. I've seen this one done really awesome, like this one, like a Penny, whatever the, the ghost is on the It. I can't think of his name right now. <laughs> Here's some heads hung by some uh, little hooks, or big hooks, should I say. Um, and we have a woman and a man in a carriage, maybe getting married. It's a little devil baby that the other guy was holding. <laughs> Maybe, and a uh, little animal there with uh, horn. Sorry, I lost my train of thought. Here we have a caged animal. No, kid of some sort. Baby doll. And some other ghoulish, crazy-looking stuff. And these pets here are eating worms. <laughs> here we have little Guliana and maybe her friend or boyfriend. Who knows? This is one I've seen done really cool. It's assorted creepy treats. And they're individually wrapped little you know, demons, heads, or whatever. I've seen that done really, really pretty and uniquely. Uh, let's see. We have some tools of the trade for a killer or ghost. And this is the one that I have done. And I quit 
as I've told you other times, I just gave up and just could, didn't feel like I was doing what I was needing to be doing to make it look right or up to the standards I would like. So this is the fly guy in Guyana. <laughs> and more of the heads here. Has a lot of like religious stuff, I would say. And so if you're really religious, you might really think this is really disrespectful. And I apologize if that's the case. You're welcome to turn this off. But some of us, you know, take things a little lighter or, you know, maybe not be religious. So I think it's kind of cool. It has eyes right there on, on his mouth and eyes. And here we have a bunch of people coming to burn the werewolf, it looks like. We have a baby with octopus hands, it looks like. <laughs> and his rattles with a little demon. And we have a long-legged, tall, drink of, drink of water, is that what they say, a glass of water? <laughs> uh, with a creepy-looking guy trying to get near her, it looks like. Some more random um, art-type New Evil stuff. Uh, let's see here. There's a Batman, literally. And I think this person, I don't know what this thing is. Some type of devil. <laughs> This one I've seen done really cute. Uh, Guliana with the big ice cream cone with the big mouth. Really super beautiful images of that on Instagram. We have someone getting torn apart by some vultures. Here's little Guliana. And it looks like she is looking at some spell books and trying to make some sort of a recipe. And these guys must be in love. Or should I say, I guess it could be two guys. <laughs> Looks maybe, I don't know, a woman, man, whatever. Two humans, or they once were, I think. It's pretty graphic, actually. They are tongue kissing, fridge kissing. And I've seen some pretty cool looking ones of that, too. <laughs> so, um, I think the artist is very creative and unique. And I've seen a lot of other things on Amazon that were labeled things like horror, you know, adult coloring, and the standards were just not this good. I just did not think so. So let's see another woman and a man in the mirror or, you know, a picture on the wall, photo frame, uh, it's a huge spider. And see when it's in the book, you have such a trouble getting into there, into the deep corners, you know, something might like, for instance, in this bus, you can't get in that deep corner there. So when you take them apart and you have them like this, you can actually do the whole darn thing. All right, let's see here. I have a hard time because these pages are really thick. And we have a guy and a ghoul playing an organ with a spider. And she does not look very comfortable. Or at least I don't think so. We got a woman with a cage on her head. A Ouija board. Three little skeleton kids. And this one is another one I've seen done really cool. The clown there. And that's another one. Octopus. And this woman is apparently floating out of her grave. In the cemetery, it looks like. Sorry about my hands going all over the thing. This is only my third or fourth video made. And so I have to learn how to do this correctly. So hang in there with me and hopefully you can see me through it all. Here is a woman's face as she is decaying seen that done really pretty and I'm sure everyone knows what this is from The Shining or what it's supposed to be like. Now let's see here. Another one really really good. This looks like it's holding some type of a satanic. God that sounds awful saying it now that I look at it. Some type of satanic ritual um, with uh, Bev Myths. I don't know his name. Anyways. The, the demon head there, uh, his name starts with a B, and I can't think of it right offhand. Some little clown guys, and some more heads to put your own stuff in. And now this one comes with a palette place, so you can put down the colors you've used, or practice, anything like that. And then here is the answers to the finding the stuff, and a little poem at the end, which I'm not going to read because I want to get through this really fast. We're already 14 minutes in, and I like to keep them short. So now we have The Haunted Playgrounds. This is the most recent one. He does have another one coming out right now. I believe it'll be out at Halloween. So once again, the beautiful color. Oh, I'm so sorry. The beautiful colored foil uh, dust jacket and the black front. And make sure it's all in here. And start going through it. This is all the, like, the playground, the clowns, that type of thing. You know, it shows you what things to look for if you're wanting to do that. And this is kind of like a carnival, should I say. So I'm just going to try to flip through here. Got Guliana playing. Um, 
eating some eyeballs. Uh, oh, fresh popped eyes. I'm sorry. That's where she got that. And she is entering the park here with her pet and riding a roller coaster, the screen machine. And there is a ventriloquist, some clowns, the skull tower, and she is making sure that she's tall enough to ride this ride. Another beautiful one I've seen done really cool and creepy looking. I don't think I've ever seen this one done. Um, let's see here. There are some circus or carnival per uh, performers. And the lioness, hairy woman, the sword queen, swallowing a long sword. And some more creepy, wicked looking clowns. Oh, I keep losing you. I'm so sorry. Please bear with me. Um, creepy looking clowns. And dunk the dead, just throw ahead. And there you go. That is what those kids are excited about doing there. This one is pretty cool. And see, like I was telling you, when you take it apart, you don't lose any of that stuff there. And with, you know, the way it is, you cannot get in there color. So I recommend it personally and plan on doing all of mine. Anyways, this is the clown caravan. And we have a ride there with the teacups. The um, little tent where you go in and see all the different types of mirrors. There's a roller coaster with the Juliana and her pet. Apparently, this guy's having a bad day. <laughs> and uh, there's a little demon baby again with a little girl. Um, we have Juliana on a ship thing that apparently knocked her out. And uh, we have these little kids here in love, apparently, walking on the stilt, I believe. Um, some performers. That is interesting. And we have some puppeteers holding these guys here by some strings. Another one I've seen done really, really neat. Um, this guy is eating a hot dog with a bat and pulled a dead rabbit out of his hat. Another one I've seen done really awesome. Big shark, the ride coming out of the mountain over there. Really a lot of good possibilities with this. Goodness gracious. And we have a circus here and some more. We have the horoscope, <laughs> the lady, we fear your future, and then she plays the cards. And whack a soul, knock them dead. We have the kids playing in here, and then this is a really awesome one I've seen done with a lot of bright colors. Um, let's see here, let me see if I can hold it like this, or maybe. There she is on the roller coaster ride, and some creepy dead people there. Um... Let's see here, kind of Nuevo type stuff. Wow, that is interesting. <laughs> Two-headed Medusa woman or something. Let's see, we're almost done. We're almost done, hang in there. Creepy, big guy, I don't know what he is. And this says it's alive. And it looks like Guliana there. There's the Wolfman again and Guliana on a ride. And here's the heads, just like in all the other books. This one also has the palette and the end. Thank you so much for choosing to watch these reviews on Angie's Art Addicts channel. My name is Angie and yes, I am addicted to art and coloring supplies. Have a great night and thank you so much.